local 10 news starts right now. Right now, 530 heart wrenching testimony today from the mother of a little girl who prosecutors say was murdered by that mother's ex boyfriend. The defendant is accused of murdering the 11 year old victim and trying to make it look like a suicide. And prosecutors say he targeted that little girl because she told her mother to break up with him. Local 10's Leanne Marhone is live with this emotional testimony today. Just heart wrenching. It really is, Christy. This mother was forced to relive the most horrific day of her life, at times speaking through tears, even sobbing. We must warn you that the testimony you're about to hear is very disturbing. And she had three cuts in the neck, and she had the knife stuck in her throat. Gut-wrenching testimony from Amaury Albarenga, the mother of 11-year-old Marta Guzman, describing what she did back in 2014 when she found her daughter's body and realized her wrists and neck had been slashed by a knife. From my nerves, because I thought that I could save her, I pulled it out and I threw it to the side. Sus ojos estaban todos pegados de las lágrimas que mi hija seguro derramó. Her eyes were stuck together, probably from all the tears that she shed. Queriendo salvar su vida en ese momento seguro. She probably wanted to save her life. Miguel Ruiz Lobo is standing trial for Guzman's murder. Ruiz Lobo is Albarenga's ex-boyfriend. The state alleges he used a hidden key to enter Guzman's Little Havana apartment while she was home alone, and that Ruiz Lobo killed the girl and staged it to look like suicide, all because she convinced her mother to break up with him. The jury also heard from more current and former members of the Miami Police Department. This officer says Ruiz Lobo returned to the scene asking about what happened. It implied that it, had, it was a relationship with the lady living in the apartment complex. Testimony has concluded for the day. The trial is expected to resume tomorrow morning for a half day. The trial will be cut short due to the Passover holiday. For now reporting in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.